This video is all about increasing your PhilHealth reimbursement with doctor and hospital teamwork. Now, if you or your hospital staff understand this key concept, your hospital will potentially reduce your claims return and reduce your claims denied and eventually increase your PhilHealth claims income. Hello, my name is Coach Doc Ben. I was a former PhilHealth claims chief. Now, in my almost 15 years in PhilHealth, I have seen hospitals lose millions. I have seen hospitals end up in PhilHealth legal, all due to simple and preventable mistakes. I am the founder of UHC Clinical Claims Consultancy. We teach hospitals how to decrease their claims return, decrease their claims denied, and increase their claims income. If you stay till the end, you will discover the importance of collaboration or teamwork between doctors and hospital management. So, teamwork between hospital management and clinicians will potentially hasten hospital processing time and most importantly, and hopefully, it will increase your hospital's field health income. So, in my almost 15 years in claims processing, I have seen hospitals end up in trouble so many times due to simple errors in documents. Some hospitals even got their accreditation suspended. Again, these are all preventable. So, if you think this topic is useful for you or your hospital, please click the like button below and let us proceed. Hospital owners or administrators and some clinicians who know me are usually accustomed to my statement, partly because some of them agree that it's a little bit true or probably 70% accurate. Now, for those of you who do not know me, I am married to a doctor. Half of my friends are doctors. I say this based on experience. I say this without disrespect to all the doctors. Sadly, doctors who are the pillars of healthcare is one of the main reason of most PhilHealth claims return and claims denied of hospitals. So, examples are the following. Denied claim due to filed beyond 60 days statutory period. Okay? Some hospitals explain that doctors are taking too much time to finish the claim form 4. Clinical charts are being submitted late by the doctors, incomplete clinical information in charts, okay, leads to late claims filing. Next example is the non-compliance to the standard of care. So this means the clinical management is not appropriate to the standards. So some hospitals explain that this is doctor-induced because the hospital has no right to intervene with the doctor's clinical management. So another popular example is the upcasing of claims. So this is also known as the upcoding of the hospital bill. This is when, again, the doctor uses more expensive diagnosis than what was performed. So the false diagnosis contradicts or does not match the clinical management. So this is a form of fraud. Some hospitals explain that the doctors are responsible for the false management and the hospital must not be penalized for this. So another example is denied due to not accredited doctor. Now this occurs when the doctor failed to renew his PhilHealth accreditation. Okay. 
all case rate rule states that the entire claim will be denied. So hospitals cry foul because doctors are individually responsible for their PhilHealth accreditation. So, now these are just a few of the many examples that are doctor-induced. Now, do not get me wrong, there are other denied claims and returned claims that are not directly related to the doctors. Okay, so, wait, before our doctors will react, okay, I don't actually blame them. Well, the reason behind all of this is that doctors were never taught field health concepts and field health rules. Basically, the doctors were not trained to document things. Okay. At present, field health demands accurate information and documentation. So, you have the claim form 1, the claim form 2, claim form 3, the claim form 4. Our clinicians were never trained to do this. Thus, it's basically a disaster. So, here's the thing. A handful of hospitals blame doctors on some hospital denied and returned claims. Some hospitals pass the accountability to the doctors. Now, many hospitals insist that they do not have a direct control and supervision on the doctors because they are independent contractors. Okay. So, this is a classic example of the lack of collaboration between the hospital management and the doctors. It's like saying the hospital will do their thing and the doctors will do their own thing. Now, in my experience, if you have this kind of culture in your hospital, then your claims are doomed. I will give you the, an idea on the field health mindset. So it's like this. So when a hospital is field health accredited, field health assumes that the hospital is aware of all field health rules and they are aware of all the field health concepts and the hospital is responsible for the activities that occur in the hospital. So field health expects that the hospital manage their affairs efficiently. This includes the managing or rather managing the behavior of the doctors. Now, this logic is basically substantiated by the signed performance commitment of the hospital. So, the hospital agreed to abide to all field health regulation and issuances. Moreover, you need to take note that PhilHealth implementing rules and regulation did not separate the hospital and doctor accountability. Plus, hospital management accepted the responsibility to be held liable in any violation of the National Health Insurance Program that may occur in the hospital. So, in claims processing, if the hospital is not fraudulent, but your doctor is fraudulent, the hospital may be indirectly liable. So, PhilHealth also expects that the hospital and the doctor relationship is based on proper credentialing and privileging. Now, there is a circular on this. It is assumed that the hospital and doctors have their own contracts based on specific rules and agreed and agreements. So therefore, the hospital has control over their doctors. So for clinical management wise, as written in the performance agreement, hospitals must be guided with the clinical practice guidelines. Now, it is the responsibility of the medical director to manage the clinical affairs of the hospital. This includes all issues of the doctors and their clinical practice in the hospital. Now, based on my experience, the PhilHealth Performance Commitment will show it is difficult for the hospital to dissociate PhilHealth-related accountability from their doctors. 
It's difficult to blame doctors on claims inefficiency. Doctors inefficiency is part of the hospital inefficiency. So if you're serious in increasing claims reimbursement, if your hospital is serious in decreasing your claims denied, in decreasing your claims return, okay, hospitals and the doctors must learn to collaborate. So, teamwork in healthcare is critical for patient care. There's no argument on that. Now, equally critical is hospital and doctor teamwork in claims processing. So, the following are the benefits okay, of hospital and doctor teamwork. The first the value-based care. So, there has been a gradual change in the healthcare landscape. Now, many of you did not notice this, but payment is not based anymore on the quantity of services. So, claims payment is based on the value of services. Okay, this is more on the outcome of care. So, the value-based reimbursement has gradually started and it will continue in the implementation of the DRGs. Now, these, the DRG is an upgrade from the old case rate. That's the diagnosis-related groupings. Now, doctors will play a big role in balancing the cost and care and at the same time, the outcome of care. So hospital management and doctors will have no choice but to work together in order to increase reimbursement. Might as well start it now. The next benefit is correct coding. So to facilitate PhilHealth payment, it is critical for physicians to facilitate proper coding for their final diagnosis and their surgical procedures. So, while in some settings, a staff or a person may select the specific ICD-10 code, but under most circumstances, it is the physician who must own or agree on the code selection. So, the physician agrees with the code selection by indicating the physician's signature on the claim. So if the doctors don't agree with the codes, okay, the case may remain unpaid or unbilled. So the case may end up at the risk of non-payment due to late filing. So the next benefit is accurate documentation. Now, documenting on the clinical chart on what was done in a specific and a detailed way is a critical part of the doctor's role in any admission of the patient. So, this covers the chief complaint, the history of the present illness, physical exam, and the entire clinical management. So, PhilHealth is very sensitive on this. Okay? Teamwork will reduce claims errors or inaccuracy in clinical documentation. Teamwork leads to less denied claims, less return claims, and increase PhilHealth reimbursement. Next, let's talk about the adherence to the clinical standards. So there is evidence to suggest that clinicians who adhere to the commonly accepted clinical practice guidelines deliver better outcomes for their patients. As such, PhilHealth requires the use of these acceptable clinical practice guidelines or clinical pathways in patient care. Now, expectedly, these are for the doctors. So hospital and doctor teamwork will promote the use of the clinical standard. Good collaboration between two parties will potentially avoid denied and return the 
fill health claims. Lastly, so reviewing accounts receivable. So when doctors take active interest in understanding fill health accounts receivable, hospitals easily discover fill health claims, late payment, or underpayments. Hospitals can easily identify errors in claims processing, so this will promote accurate and timely payments in the future. So, in summary, okay, teamwork between hospital management and doctors makes PhilHealth task go smoothly. It promotes communication among parties. Teamwork allows learning to continue throughout the entire hospital. So this will result in decreased claims error and increase in claims payment. Friends, if you like this video, tell me what you like about it. If you have specific claims topics that you want me to discuss, just post it in the comment section below. If you want to learn more on PhilHealth rules and PhilHealth concepts, please subscribe to this channel. This is Coach Doc Ben. See you in the next session.